everybody knew that Caitlin Collins was gonna have her hands full trying to have a town hall with Donald Trump. That is not just an avenue for him to spread the big lie and other conspiracy theories. So um, we were all wondering, how long is she gonna be able to hold the reins and keep him under control? Well, here's the first question. President Trump, thank you for your time thank here you. tonight. We got a, a great crowd here. Your first term ended with a deadly riot at the Capitol, and you still have not publicly acknowledged the 2020 election results. Why should Americans put you back in the White House? Because uh, we did fantastically. We got 12 million more votes than we had in, uh, as you know, in 2016. Uh, I actually say we did far better in that election. Got the most uh, that anybody's ever gotten as a sitting president of the United States. Uh, I think that uh, when you look at that result and when you look at what happened during that election, uh, unless you're a very stupid person, you see what happens. A lot of the people, a lot of the people in this audience and maybe a couple that don't, but most people uh, understand what happened. That was a rigged election and it's a shame that we had to go through it. It's very bad for our country all over the world. They looked at it and uh, they saw exactly what everyone else saw. You look, even if you just look recently with the 51 intelligence agents that made a 16 point difference. Uh, if you look at the but FBI, if you look at the FBI and uh, Twitter, uh, they call it Twitter files, made a big difference. If you look at- Mr. President, the vote, back to what you just said there though, it, it was not a rigged election. It was not a stolen election. You and your supporters lost more than 60 court cases. So that one clip right there, I think demonstrates the entire town hall. Let's keep it real. Uh, Donald Trump said the same lies, the same conspiracy theories that he always does. He, despite the fact that they're not convincing arguments, the everyone everywhere looked at it and they all think it was rigged is simply not true. It's also vague for a reason. He hasn't gotten any better at that. Uh, Caitlin Collins actually was prepared to rebut quite a bit of his lies. She couldn't keep up with all of them, but it was pointless. Because he would just reiterate them, he's never going to admit that he's lying. And more importantly, perhaps than all of that, you saw when he said only a stupid person would think it wasn't rigged, which I guess includes those 60 judges, the crowd laughed uproariously. Because that was a wild card that I had not been prepared for when it came to this thing. I expected that he would lie. I expected perhaps even more so than ended up being the case that Caitlin Collins wouldn't be prepared for this. Uh, what I did not expect was that CNN was going to get, I think, 400 Trump fans and just fill the room with them. So that every lie that he told before it could be rebutted, before it could be corrected, would immediately receive applause and cheering and vicious laugh laughter, as we'll get to. And so that was the experience you had as a viewer, was him saying insane things. And then you receiving the, I guess, like the social proof that everyone agrees with him. Everyone thinks that he's awesome. That's it. It's the same as adding a laugh track to a sitcom. It's to accomplish a goal. We now are left to wonder what goal was CNN trying to accomplish by packing the room with Trump fans. Adrian, what do you think? Okay, so I definitely think that um, CNN got exactly what it wanted, which is an opportunity to uplift Donald Trump. You know, the fact is that with their new leadership, they have moved to the right and they are essentially taking a lot of their moderate viewers with them. Um, but also, what they really expected last night was for it to be an absolute utter clown show because that's exactly what Trump is a walking carnival. And they got that in terms of the applause uh, from the audience. And the reason I would say they were applauding was not necessarily because of what he said, but because of how he said it, which is in an, in an insulting and completely and totally unprofessional bullying tone. Uh, it's like watching The Office where you're thinking this isn't something that happens in real life. This is completely mm -hmm. unacceptable and that's why it's funny. And that is why Donald Trump gets the responses that he gets is because you're like, I cannot believe someone who is a, supposed to be of a certain elk is acting, acting this way, but he does it and he does it unapologetically. Yeah. And that's what CNN was looking for. Yeah, I think, look, they definitely got exactly what they wanted. Uh, they got a thing that would draw viewers, uh, damn what it does to democracy. Uh, they don't care. And when I say they, I mean like the, the leadership or whatever. I have no idea if Caitlin Collins is involved in any of this or whatever. Uh, but they got what they wanted. They want to have a bunch of events like this that draw ratings. I think we can all agree on that. That's the, ba that's the base level for this conversation. But beyond that, they want him to be president. Like, is that even controversial to say at this point? 
they want him to be president. First of all, every one of the rich a-holes that runs CNN is gonna benefit financially from another term of Donald Trump, of cut his taxes or whatever. It'll have devastating effects on all of us, but they don't care about us, that's very clear. And then they'll have four years of that event. Every day will be that Trump town hall. And they can bring people on the air to be like, this is unacceptable. This shouldn't this shouldn't be normalized as we normalize it in the lead up to the election. That's what all of this is about. Again, no idea about Caitlin Collins or any of the hosts on CNN or whatever. But definitely this is, I think, an admittance that they wanted to be president. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.